Yeah, I, I think it's underpressed. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. It's Mark from Cricket Bat Info, and today we're doing the final mids that's come through, and I'm going to show it to you now. This is a mids legend. This is their best bat that they do. Uh, it's been sent in by Alex, and we'll have a look at it straight after this. So firstly, thank you very much to Alex for supplying two bats, the Z12 and now this one. Definitely, there's no issue here uh, where we were thinking the other one was potentially Serbian. This one is definitely English Willow. Is $800 delivered from uh, Jacob on the old Discord server. So always check out the video descriptions. Um, I put detail in there about who it came from, any information that I may have missed uh, in the review or information about the actual filming of it and what went wrong and, and just basically apologies to whoever uh, I've offended. Um, so once again, custom order, long blade, 211, uh, 42 mil edge, full profile. So this is the, you've seen that cover before. We got one with the uh, mid Luger. So uh, don't need to see that again. Throw that one over there. Let's bring this a bit closer and we'll just zoom in a little bit more on that bat. Gee, that looks really nice, doesn't it? Um, so stunning piece of sapwood, you know that I like um, mainly sapwood bats. Tend to be seven to 10 grains. I'm not really big on, um, you know, 12 grain bats, uh, They've always been the top type of willow that you can get, uh, and they're becoming rarer and rarer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 grains. A little bit of heartwood running down the right hander's outside edge, a tiny, tiny little slither. Now in this one, they've actually gone for laser carving. You can see that's actually quite deep. A little bit different to, um, Laser engraving, which you know you can do at home, tends to focus on one focal point. Whereas when they go this deep, they've actually got a, a type of laser that can actually uh, move in and focus at lower and lower uh, points. So it's able to actually carve out uh, an area. <clears throat> so yeah, I don't have to complain about any stickers and everything is perfectly lined up. You can see here, handcrafted English Willow, uh, limited edition, five star, as we said, 15 grains. They've even laser carved that um, side there. Uh, the actual buffing compound has got stuck inside the, uh, the carving as it's gone through, and that's happened on the back here as well. Um, just a little bit more polishing uh, that will come out or even just a heat gun uh, will probably release uh, that. So it's a really stunning, stunning bit of willow, isn't it? And it's probably one of the nicest looking bats we've had on the channel uh, for a while. Let's have a look at the toe. Uh, almost dead straight on this side, skewing a little bit that way towards the heartwood. There's a bow on this bat, which is unlike the other bats. So you can see that there's some bowing there which is really uh, different. And just like the other bat, it's not a full shape. There is concaving there. It's definitely got all its mass located right in the hitting area here with big edges, probably not as tall as spine, um, but plenty uh, to work with as a batsman. As far as the handle shape goes, uh, I, I would call that round. I know he asked for semi-oval, but I would call that round or square. Um, I think that that could be a bit more semi-oval uh, and it's definitely round at the top. Thinner than the other one. Um, same quality of grip, I imagine. Now let's have a look what we've got at the insert level. So it's same as the Z12. So that's their best quality handle. Two rubber in the center, two cork on the outside. Um, just a little bit of finishing um, that's just a bit rough on, on the mids. So. You know, they could probably tidy that area up because they don't expect people to, to have a look under here. Um, but that's, you know, a little razor blade or something like that. You could make that look a lot better or 
or whatever. So just a little bit of feedback there. Same as the other bat, uh, really, really fine um, binding it uses, really fine. Uh, and it does appear on this one that I can actually feel the glue on it. Unlike the Z12, that wasn't, there wasn't any glue over the top of it. So uh, that's inconsistent. Um, the mid Luger, there was glue on it. And this one, I can definitely feel glue on it, but not with the uh, Z12. So little things that they can improve on. So let's get on to having a look at the measurements of the bat. Firstly, is it a long blade? This one's definitely longer than the other one. You can see here, if I zoom out a little bit, uh, the difference in the shoulder lengths here. This one's definitely a lot, a proper long blade. Sure, that's zeroed. Zoom that in. And turn that a tiny little bit for you. Starting at the shoulder. 17.3, quite thick at the shoulder and reduced again at the splice area 34.4 so thicker again really big looking edge i've got to say um 43.3 and toe edge 24.3 toe center it doesn't have that spine going all the way through the toe 28.3 uh, I didn't put it through the gauge. That was just a mistake. Let's put it through the gauge. And yeah, this one doesn't go through the gauge at all. Um, it's getting stuck right there. Uh, you can see here, same face camber, which is a flatter face camber and uh, some reduction in the spine. So most of that is just sheer bulk uh, towards the, the edges. Let's measure that spine now. 62. And we will measure the front and back widths of the bat. Zero. One oh six point five. Very similar to the other one, which was 106.7. And on the back, 106. So no attempt to really narrow the bat on the back. And it's only one millimeter out. I'm not worried about that. There's a little bit of a black stain that's actually on the back of the bat. Um, I'm not 100% sure what that's about. That could be just some something that's happened uh, to the cleft itself. Um, but yeah, there's just some sort of uh, staining there. Not going to affect performance whatsoever. Now, what does it actually feel like in the hand? It feels totally different uh, to a short handle. Definitely, they feel a bit um, uh, heavier. So in the hands, this one definitely picks up a lot nicer than the Z12. And yeah, it's feeling 212 again. Definitely feeling 212 um, around that. I have had issues with the camera overheating, so that's why I'm a little bit of a hurry. What does it weigh? 211. Feels the same as the other bat, so 211 to 212. They probably feel identical, so I don't think Alex is going to ha have any issue moving between the two bats. So $800 delivered. That's a pretty good deal. And let's tap it up, see what it actually feels like. So this is the first time I've tapped this bat up and starting at the toe feels definitely softer than the other bat. Well, that's really soft in the center there. Really soft. It's almost Yeah, it's not really, I wouldn't say it's responding that well, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I, I actually don't think that's um, tapping up as well as, as I would have expected. Let's bring in a 20 year old bat that's, that's stuffed and... Yeah, 
Yeah. I, I don't know. I just think. Yeah, I, I think it's underpressed. I, I actually would say to them that they could have pressed that a little bit better. Um, uh, it definitely is redder on the camera. Uh, it's just the way that Sony's take uh, camera footage. The HDMI going to the uh, camera uh, seems to be a bit colder, uh, but I can see the footage coming out of the um, Sony above me directly, and it definitely looks a lot warmer and redder than it is in real life. Yeah, so... Nice looking willow, but I just don't, there's no performance there at the moment. So it's going to be a, one of those ones, what actually happens to that bat will happen uh, off camera. Um, and it will be really interesting for Alex to comment and let users know how he actually goes with this bat. Because at the moment, um, it looks like it needs a lot of work uh, and it's not really pinging as well as it should be. So. I know there's this uh, thought process um, with people saying, you know, oh, the players have really soft bats and therefore they go to the boundary. Well, let me tell you, that's absolute crap. Um, hard balls will respond better off of hard surfaces. It just, you just get that energy transfer and the ball pings off. Um, if, the, if the bat's too soft, all the energy is lost on the surface of the bat, transferred into the bat, and you get delamination and, and horrible things like that. So, you know, the whole point of pressing a bat is to try and create that hard surface. The reason they use willow is because it's, they're able to do that with it and still have uh, something that's not too heavy. Um, with this bat, I would say that it uh, needs to go under a, under a roller. You can't really press a bat with a... A mallet, although these LV mallets obviously can do a lot more um, indentation a lot faster to a bat, um, but you, you wouldn't be able to go anywhere uh, with a regular uh, mallet trying to knock that in. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. I'd, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, Jacob was definitely absolutely convinced that this is an absolute screamer, and um, Maybe that's something that happens when you actually have it prepared and played in and, and all those type of things. To me, uh, if I tried to go into the nets with that bat the way that it is at the moment, I don't think you'd hit the, the ball off the center square. So thoughts, leave them in the comments. Hey everyone, I don't believe it's come to this. This is the end of the video. And basically where we're at here is the owner um, doesn't like the bats now. And because I said that this bat here, the legend, uh, is not pressed properly and there's something wrong with it and to talk to the seller. And so his answer is basically um, both bats are going to be replaced. And uh, then I get contacted by the seller. Send the bat to Pakistan. Right, $5 each is the declared value. And um, so $10 in total. And here's the address. I go back to the owner. I said what's this? I said, I'm happy to send it wherever you want, but I didn't mean send it to Pakistan. And it's like, well, who's going to pay me to post it wherever it's going? And then the seller comes back to me and says, oh, he's refusing to pay for the postage back to MIDS, even though MIDS are saying that they'll reimburse him. And it's like, why am I getting in the middle of this thing? I don't get it. You guys buy bats. Whatever happens with the bats, don't involve me. I just want to get the review out to people. I thought that you send me bats because you really like them and you want to share them with the world. But what is happening here is this bat's been sent over by potentially somebody who's either never seen the bat or um, is seeking a private appraisal using my service that one pings all right i mean you can tell that pings this one's just something wrong with it yeah this is rubbish now mids are going to replace them good on you but while you're doing that mids you might as well think about throwing out these covers and getting whoever does your sticky tape and your stickers to really sort that out 
If that's important to you, don't buy mids. If the performance is, is what you want or grains, this guy's obviously, Alex, has only been um, interested in how many grains are on the bat. Now, he might have played cricket over in England and done whatever, he calls himself a hack now, but for Pete's sakes, you know, like I've been putting out videos for how long and saying to you people that the number of grains isn't the determining factor on whether a bat's going to perform. It's all about the timber. So ask for performance timber, ask for something that's definitely going to perform. Don't ask for play at bats and don't ask for outrageous specs like massive edges and all this type of rubbish. Because if you, if, you know, if you put the, the uh, bat maker and the seller under enormous pressure to provide bloody unicorns like this thing here, you might not get them. So yeah, I'm pretty annoyed that now I've got to try and fit these bats back in these shitty covers and then ship them back to Sydney because the owner has left it all in my lap and refused to pay. Alex, you're a dickhead, quite frankly. And that's how they fitted. Well, the box is half broken and you can't close it properly. It's not even very thick cardboard. I said, there's no way I'm posting this back to Pakistan. It just won't make it. So I've re I refused. So that's how I got them and that's how they're going back. And whatever else is not my problem. This has been Cricket Bat Info. I hope you've enjoyed this little rant by me. Um, you can see why I'm not a seller. I'm not really interested in doing this sort of stuff and uh, trying to make money and all the pressures involved with that. All I, all I just want to do is provide you with great quality videos. Um, and yeah, don't please people. If you're going to send bats to the channel, send it because you want other people to actually find out about something good. If you send me a turd, I'm going to call it a turd. And the seller, if you send me a turd, don't expect me to do anything but call it a turd. It's like, I'm not in this thing to protect the sellers. That's not what I'm trying to do. Hey, this might not be representative of mids in, in, in all honesty. This just might be representative of this complete balls app. And maybe it represents why you shouldn't buy through grey sellers. Because when you get left in a lurch, it's just you and this other person. There's no business. There's no protection where do you go don't come to me what a shit show this has been mark signing off see you on the next video